Today I have three tips to make your luxury pieces more functional for you. And I have a little bonus tip at the end. Not sure if it's really a tip, but a bonus item to show you. So stay tuned. <music> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals and discount codes and sales and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Like I said, I have three tips for you to help make your luxury pieces more functional for you. Tip number one, the pochette accessoire. It comes in two different models. There's the new model, which is the one you can currently purchase from Louis Vuitton, and then there's the old model, which is going to be a lot less expensive. Now, both of these, the prices have just been skyrocketing lately, and a lot of people want the new model because it has a couple of things the old model doesn't, but I'm gonna show you a trick to make the old model more functional for you. So if you're looking for a pochette accessoire and you don't wanna pay double retail, because these retail for 500-ish and they're up to a thousand or more on the pre-loved market now. It is insane. You can find the old model cheaper. One of the reasons people prefer the new model, I think the main reason, is because of the longer strap on it. You see how the new model has the longer strap. This longer strap is long enough to fit over your shoulder and it allows this bag to be a shoulder bag like this very easy. Whereas this bag, unless you have tiny arms, which I do not, yeah, I mean, I can get it up there, but it's like right under my armpit there. It's not the most comfortable. So what you can do, very easy solution, remove this strap. And this is also helpful on the new model if you are somebody who likes to take the strap off and use this bag as a clutch or as a pouch inside a larger bag. It's really annoying to take this strap on and off because on one side it's a clip, but on the other side it's this thing you have to fidget with. And then I feel like slipping this clasp through the little slit on the leather, like one day that's gonna break. It's just really annoying. But I have a solution for you. This strap right here. This strap is from Dress Up Your Purse and I will link the information about it below. Dress Up Your Purse, I have a 15% discount code. It's autumn, so just use that code when you're checking out and you can get 15% off anything on their website. This strap, let me show you against the different um, pochette straps here. So this one is the Dress Up Your Purse strap and she has it in different levels of patina. So some lighter, some darker. This is the Louis Vuitton old model strap and this is the Louis Vuitton new model strap. You can see on the new model here that this dress up your purse strap is pretty much the same length. Actually, it's gonna be a little bit longer, maybe two inches longer. So if you're tired of taking this strap on and off, you can just replace it with this one because it's much easier to use because it has clips on both ends. Or if you have the old model or you want to buy the old model and save money, you can just add the strap. There you go, throw that over your shoulder and you can wear this bag much easier and it's not right below your armpit. In fact, you could even keep it on to get in and out of it. And on both of these, you could also use one of Dress Up Your Purse's longer crossbody straps. I do this all the time, it's very helpful on these pochette accessoires, so it doesn't matter which pochette you have, you can turn it into a crossbody bag and it's super functional that way, I'll model it for you. So crossbody strap, and I have that one hanging, I'll just leave it there for a second. So there it is, and again, all these vachetta straps come in different levels of patina, different darknesses or lightnesses. That's a great way to wear your pochette accessoire and get more use out of it. And just a tip, I've said this before, if you are adding a crossbody strap and you don't wanna deal with vachetta because, you know, vachetta has issues, like it's not weatherproof, for example, you can get an Aben strap from Dress Up Your Purse as well. This one is actually Louis Vuitton. This is from my Eva, but Dress Up Your Purse does have the Aben straps. The Aben strap works on monogram. Let me show you against the plain monogram there. It looks great with it. It also, of course, looks great with Damier Aben. The Vachetta would look better with the Azure. Or if you want to dress it up more, you could use a gold chain. Voila, so many, actually, let me take this little strap off. So many options for making these bags more functional. In fact, I could dress it up even more by adding that thicker gold chain. She has these in two different lengths. This is the longer one. Let me show you the shorter one 
to give you an idea how much shorter it is. Okay, so there's the shorter one. Actually, I like that look with both chains. That's pretty nice looking. I especially like it with this graffiti pouch. This, by the way, if you're not familiar with this piece, it's the Steven Sprouse graffiti in the dark green. There's a better look at it. Beautiful little bag. I like all those gold chains on it. I'm just playing around at this point. I hadn't even planned this part of the video. I was wondering how it would look with mixed metals. So there it is with the short gold chain and the longer silver chain. That looks nice too. I like it. Experimentation sometimes leads to wonderful discoveries. Anyway, this shorter Vachetta strap is what I really wanted to show you most to help make the old model pochette more functional or just have two clips on the new model. I'm very happy I got that. Tip number two to make your bags more functional is to use a clay. I know for a lot of people, the clay is an entry level piece to Louis Vuitton. The prices, boy, they've been going up on them too. I don't even know what they are now, but they were $200 when I started buying them and I think they're $250 or they even more than that now. It's crazy. And then a lot of people get them and don't know what to do with them. I find them to be very functional pieces. This one is from Louis Vuitton, but if you don't want to spend that much on it yet because you're not sure how you would use it. And by the way, it's not just a pouch if you're not familiar with these. It does inside have this detachable key ring that you can use. I never use it for keys because I don't want the gold colored plating, whatever that is, to wear off. But what I do is use it as a bag charm. I'll talk about that in a minute. But if you don't want to drop that much dough just yet, Dress Up Your Purse has some options for you. They're very similar to the Louis Vuitton pouch. I have the black leather one, but she has these in other colors too. It has the zipper and it has that same kind of clasp inside. And this is a really lovely piece. Um, actually, the clasp opening is a little different on it. So they look the same initially, but the Louis Vuitton, this piece here, you have to lift up and then you can pull it out and then lift it up again to put it back down. Whereas this one is just a normal clip. I do use one of these. I use my monogram one for keys. I have extra keys for my car and for the guy's car. And I just keep them inside the pouch with the clip inside and I keep that in my bag. But I also often will wear my clays as bag charms and they're very functional that way, especially if you don't wanna dig around in your bag. Like, you know, if you have a Neverfull or if you have a Speedy where things get lost easily or many other bags where something this small would get lost and you don't want a big wallet or you have, or you have a big wallet and you just wanna have a few things handy it's great to have this clipped on the outside of your bag or like on the Neverfull, if you have a D-ring inside your bag, you could clip it in there so it's a little more hidden away. And just keep you know, a few cards in here that you need, your ID, your debit card, whatever else you might need handy. Um, it's especially helpful to do this at an airport or in some sort of travel situation where you need to access your ID or anything like that easily and quickly. So when I've gone to the airport, and I know we haven't traveled much lately, but we're about to, aren't we? I keep this on the outside of my Neverfull and I've got my ID and everything just ready to go. Easy access. What I love about the Dress Up Your Purse clay, better than the Louis Vuitton ones, the price and the color options. So the Louis Vuitton you can only get in this particular style of clay. They do have other styles. You can only get the three classic canvases, the Monogram, the Damier Azur, and the Damier Ben. They also have the Damier Graffite in the men's line. I think that's all that they've come out with in this pouch. Whereas this one, she has some solid colored leathers like this black, there's a red, there's a pink, there's a rose gold. She even has one as part of her dream collection, which I just looked at the website and they were currently sold out. But these are only about $42 compared to well over 200. So if you're interested in trying out the style or you don't want one of those canvases, you'd rather have a leather one this is very nice soft leather, by the way. This is a fantastic option, highly recommend, and very functional for keeping things handy. The last thing I wanna show you before we get to our bonus round, it relates to the first thing I showed you, except this is a little more fun, and it's this chain. I'm gonna show this to you on a few different items. It's a little hard to tell because of the lighting, but it alternates between gold and like a shiny, dark gunmetal black almost hardware. Is it a little easier to see if I hold it here? I don't know. But let me put this on a few things and I'll show you why it's not just decorative but also functional or how it could be functional. So first of all to use it in a decorative way you could just put it on a pochette accessoire like this or I'm gonna put it on my old model since it was so easy to get that strap off with the two clips. So there's how it looks just hanging decoratively but you could also of course use this as a little handle 
so that makes it functional. Functional and beautiful. So you could have it as a little clutch. You could even put your hand there and have it like that. That's really pretty. Or use it as a handle that way. But I have an idea. Actually, let me show it to you on a couple more bags before I show you my big idea that I think will be the best thing to use it for. Or one thing that I think would be really cool to use it for anyway. You can hang it on a bag like this as decoration, which is really pretty. This is my Speedy 30, by the way. I don't remember if I said the size earlier. Very pretty, I like that a lot. Dress up your purse, they have a lot of other decorative chains, some of which are not my style, but I know you guys, some of you would really like some of them. Like they have the acrylic chains that are different colors and they have the big pearl chains. If you wanna see those in action, go check out Styled by Gwenny. She shows some of those. I was also wondering how this chain might look on my little Nano Speedy. And I was thinking for this, maybe I'd attach it to diagonal things like that. That's kind of cute. I like it. That little tassels from Dress Up Your Purse too. They have lots of cool stuff. And I wonder if I could use that as a handle. There you go, cute, cute. You can also attach the long crossbody straps to a bag like this to make that a crossbody bag. I've shown you guys that before. But now let me show you what I think would be really cool for this chain. Very functional. And I'm not 100% sure this will work, but let's see. Okay, yeah, that works really well. This is my vintage Petite Noé and the Epi and Noir, the black. And these don't come with a short strap, they only have a long shoulder strap. So I have this little leather strap, and Melody sells those at Dress Up Your Purse too. And that looks nice too with the chain just hanging there decoratively. But I thought maybe you could use that chain as a little handheld strap, and you can. It looks really nice. I like that a lot. It really adds something to it, having more hardware on it rather than just the strap. Let me put that chain in the sort of inside here so you can see with just the strap. See, it looks nice and classy and everything, but a little plain maybe, and adding that chain just gives it a little oomph, you know? I like this chain a lot. As I'm playing with it more, it's a lot more versatile than I thought it would be. I thought it was a really cool chain when I saw it on her website, but then when I got it in person, I wasn't really sure what to do with it. So now I'm glad I'm playing with it because I'm finding a lot of ways I can use it. I thought about taking the strap off of my Emery 18 from Coach and maybe using this as a little handheld strap on this bag like that. Super cute and that gives it a whole different look because this is usually a crossbody bag but now it could be handheld. Could I even, because of that curve, I could even fit it under my arm. I mean, it's right up under my armpit there, but I could do that. I could also use one of those short leather straps on it. In fact, let me see what that looks like. This particular strap, the exact one that I have, is not from Dress Up Your Purse. I got it before Dress Up Your Purse was in existence, but I know she sells these. So there it is with that short strap and the chain on it. That's so pretty. I really love this bag. Oh, that works better. It's lower, it's not right under my armpit so much. And can be handheld and on the crook of the arm. Very pretty, I'm liking this a lot. And of course, I'm putting this on mostly black bags, but you could put it on colorful bags as well. I just don't have a lot of those to be able to show you. Now we're ready for the bonus round. This piece is not something to make your bags more functional, but it is a very functional piece. I'm gonna put pictures here. This is Dress Up Your Purse's newest release, and she has two different versions of this. She released an agenda, a planner. Isn't that wonderful? I was so surprised to see these and really happy to see them. So she has one that is Vachetta, and she calls this the hardcover. The closest thing I have to this to show you is this Vachetta piece. Her Vachetta, it's not like soft and supple like a strap would be. Her straps are that way. But a piece like this, like the planner, is gonna be more like this piece where it's kind of stiff, right? It's it's not squishy. It has some structure to it naturally. That's a beautiful planner. The other one she has is a very soft, smushy leather, and she calls that a soft cover, and it's in a rose gold. And if I was going to buy one of these two, this would be the one I would get because of the leather. I like that soft smushiness. If you need something that you can hold in your hand and it's not gonna collapse on you, you may wanna get the Vachetta one. And both of these planners start at only $60, whereas the Louis Vuitton ones, they're more like five or 600. So this would make a great piece on its own, but also if you're thinking about getting a more expensive planner, you wanna try something else out first that's a nice quality and not like, I know you can go to Michael's and get planners for $10. Those are 
not very nice quality ones. Trust me, I've had a few. These are gonna give you a better idea of a quality luxury planner. And she also sells inserts for them. Her planner comes in only one size right now and I'm not sure if she'll release other sizes, but it's equivalent to the medium size, the MM of the Louis Vuitton version. And that's actually the reason that I won't be getting one of her agendas right now because the MM size, I have all three sizes, the MM is the only one that I have found I don't really use. I use the PM every day, I keep that in my handbag, and then the GM, actually I don't really use my GM ring agenda anymore, I use my desk agenda, which is the same size as the GM. I use that every day. So I'm hoping she'll come out with a few other sizes, especially the PM. For me, that's super useful. I would love a desk agenda too. The Louis Vuitton desk agenda is one of my favorite Louis Vuitton pieces and it's by far my favorite agenda and it's so functional and I would love to see another company come out with something comparable to it that's really good quality, good materials and not six or seven hundred dollars. Well thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope to see you back here next time. I hope you and your loved ones are doing well and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.